how close are you to returning? And, and, and more to the point, are there any lessons you've, you learned last year in recovering from that injury in your final year of junior that you've been able to apply to this situation? Um, yeah, I mean, I feel very good. Uh, the bone is, is coming along, and, um, you know, personally, I feel good. Physically, I feel good. Mentally, I feel good. So, um, you know, it's been all, all sort of positive lately. I mean, obviously, it's not the position that you'd like to be in, but it's important that you're finding the positives uh, in any any sort, uh, any situation. So, um, definitely feel good. Happy to be back on the ice and, and being normal again. Um, so, um, yeah, the return, I don't really know yet. Um, you know, the bone only heals as fast as it heals. There's nothing I can really do about that. So I'm just trying to, you know, be as ready as I can for, for when I come back. Did, is, is patience the key in, in a situation like this? Uh, yeah, definitely. It definitely takes a certain amount of patience because, um, you, know, you feel so good and, um, it's just something that you have to understand that it's just not ready and, and that's why, you know, the doctors get paid the big bucks is uh, to understand, uh, you know, when it is safe to return and, and uh, you know, not re-injure it. Obviously, I think that's the main thing. And um, being patient is important. So you kind of saw what happened to Tony Romo there, you know, whether he came back too early or just another fluke incident, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, it's important that, you know, something like that doesn't happen. I ain't no disrespect, but while you've been healing... The Oilers have turned it around a little bit. They're they're what they're seven three and zero in their last ten. They've kind of turned Rexall Place into a into a, into into a bit of a fortress. I mean, Connor, what are you seeing from the Oilers now that you weren't seeing before? And I'll just ask you flat out: Can this be a playoff team this year? Um, I'm not going to answer that. Um, you know, I, I know that you know we've we've been talking about just getting better and and you know sticking with the process and doing all that. So um, you know, obviously, you're starting to see it pay off a little bit. We've been on. A little bit of a you know a run, um, you know, winning six in a row, and um, you know with the home record, uh, it's important that you're you're able to play solid at home. Um, you know that's that's uh, you know in front of your home fans, you, you always want to put on a good show. So the boys have been doing that, and um, you know, it's been going well for us. So uh, take a little time here, but you know get back at it after the break. Have you been able to? notice things about your team and your teammates viewing it as you were viewing it now while you were recovering uh, that you maybe didn't realize when you were playing with them? Yeah, you maybe look at uh, some, some guys and their tendencies and, you know, try and picture yourself playing with, with those kind of guys and mm-hmm. how you might fit in. So um, definitely a good uh, learning opportunity for a young guy like me to you know watch from the press box and, and try and understand the game a little bit better. Um, you know, obviously it's a whole different game the NHL level so um, you know I was just trying to figure it out there in the first 13 and um, now I have a chance to watch it from a different angle so um, you know just try and, and learn as much as I can. How do you uh, how have you been able to stay involved in things in terms of team meetings and things like that you know with Todd and, and, and your teammates and just sort of staying up the pace on some of the strategies that he may talk about or some of the concepts that he may talk about has it, has it been hard to sort of be part of the team, but at the same time know that when the game starts, you're going to be in civvies? Um, no, it's it's not hard. Um, you know, it's a team game. Uh, you know, even when you're hurt, you're still part of the team. So, um, you know, obviously I sit in and, and all the meetings when we're at home and, um, you know, try and learn as much as I can in those meetings and, and keep up to, to date with, you know, whatever systems uh, are being played. So, um, you know, that, that part of it isn't too hard. Uh, you know, hockey, I think, is, is one of the most team-oriented games and um you know whether you're hurt or you know not playing for for various reasons you're still part of it so i think uh that's just the way you got to look at it has there been anybody on the oilers who has been particularly helpful to you during this time just in terms of kind of being a soft shoulder or maybe hey the guy that can impart some veteran advice um i've been really lucky that uh, all the guys have been been very good and, and supporting and always there trying to you know cheer me up through the rough parts or whatever so um you know, i'm really lucky that uh, all the guys have been there for me um you know obviously i live with with taylor and luke and um you know those are kind of the guys that i'm closest with so um you know i'm really lucky to, to have those guys around 
Listen, Connor, we appreciate you doing this. Uh, you know, continued success in your recovery. Can't wait to see you back on the ice. I know everybody feels that way. I'm sure you feel that way as well. And uh, have a great holiday season. And as I said, heal quickly. We're waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me.